What's up guys, it's Unique here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a $10 loadout. So my last loadout was a $20 loadout, and you guys liked it so much. I mean, I got 1,600 likes and over 60,000 views, which is ridiculous for anybody my size. And I just wanna thank you guys very, very, very much because of that. Without any further ado, let's hop into it. So for the Glock, we are gonna be using the Field Tested Catacombs, which are currently running for 10 cents, so a very cheap skin and kinda nice looking. Like the last video, we are gonna be using the USPS Guardian in Field Tested, which is running for about 50 cents. It's actually a really simple skin, but really nice. I like the texture and the blue on it. It's real sleek and looks pretty nice. But if you do use the P2000, you can just use the handgun field tested, which is around 30 cents and looks quite nice. I just don't use the P2000. For the P250, we are going to be using the field tested Valance, which looks really, really nice. For a mil spec skin, it looks fantastic. I know a lot of these blues actually look really nice and they're cheap, so the Valance looks pretty much the same in all conditions, so you can get it in any condition you want. For the dual Beretta, we are going to be using the Andonized Navies in factory new condition. These are currently going for around 15 cents. And the blue and then silver looks really nice on them. And it's a very simple, plain pattern, but it looks pretty nice for the price. And for the 5.7, we're just going to go with the Violin Damio. It actually is one of the newer skins added to CSGO. Not too new, but it's a really nice looking skin. It's purple, and that's about it. I mean, if it's purple, it looks amazing automatically, so. No, but it is actually a really high quality mil spec skin, and it is quite cheap at 30 cents. And for the Tech 9, we're gonna go with the re-entry field tested, which is only 30 cents, just like the 5.7, but the re-entry is also somewhat new, not really all that new. It has a really cool design as well with flames and blue kind of looks cool and it's kind of a unique skin for the desert eagle we're gonna go with the corinthian since it fits our budget with 30 cents and it looks really nice kind of has a brownish to goldish tint on it and has tons of engravings on it which kind of makes it look unique even though a lot of people do use this skin it has a unique design for the nova we're gonna be using the nova exo which is one of the newest nova skins out right now it's a quite plain skin, but it actually does look good if you think about it. It's really cheap, fits our budget, nothing too good about it. Besides, it's actually simple and doesn't look all that bad. For the XM, we're going to be using the Slipstream. Now, this is such a good looking skin, especially for a mil spec. I like the blue gradients there's light blue dark blue camo blue on it it's a really nice xm skin i know i really personally don't use xm like at all but if you ever do use it you have a really nice good looking vibrant skin to use it with and for the salt off we're gonna be using the yorick which is a really unique and super cheap skin i like the gold skull on it it looks really nice and i don't see many people actually using this skin so it's quite unique and people are gonna ask you especially in lower rank games what is that skin Skin, it looks amazing. I used to get tons of compliments whenever I would troll with the salt off. And for the Mag 7, we're going to be using the Praetorian. Now, the Praetorian, I'm not sure if I'm saying that 100% right. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it actually is a really nice looking skin. If you do factor in that the Mag 7 is actually really useful for getting an op early on in the game, the Mag 7 is actually a good shotgun. And it's a really nice, clean skin. And it's really cheap. And for the M249, we're going to go with the Magma. Now, this is a really unique skin. It's kind of like if you just did some acid and you looked at a default M249. Like, it looks like some trippy M249 skin. So, it's pretty unique in that factor. All the cool colors on it. It does look pretty cool in a nice way. So, that's, uh, I mean, you're probably never going to use the M249 if you are somebody who actually tries in the game but if you do there you go and for the negev we are gonna be using the brat to tat so yeah i mean nothing to say it's kind of like the m249 you're probably never gonna use it but if you ever do you got the skin that represents the gun for the p90 we're gonna go with the teardown field tested now this is another skin i don't see people using all that much it's a very unique skin with a unique design it has you know that cool red slash and then it has like blue tiled pattern design <laughs> i don't know really how to describe it it's just a really cool skin that you don't see all that often 
Boston. For the PP Bison, we are gonna be going with the Chemical Green. Now this is a really cool design on a skin. It's actually one of my favorite skins, but it's also on a really good gun. A lot of people don't use the PP Bison, but it's a really good gun. And this neon green, neon like yellowish green on this brownish black looks really, really cool. And I don't know, it just looks like something out of Chernobyl or something. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. For the MP7, we're gonna be going with the Andonized Navy. Now this is another skin that I don't see too commonly being used, but with that cool like acrylic style blue. I don't know, it's a very simple, plain skin, but it looks quite clean. For the MP9, we're just gonna be going with the BioLeak. I'm not gonna really lie, it does look kinda ugly at first glance, but when you do notice it, the color pattern of that, once again, kinda toxic-y yellow with that green, brownish green, like the chemical green, it looks really cool, but you kinda have to appreciate it to like it, if that makes sense. For the UMP, we're gonna be going with the briefing. Now, the briefing is one of the newer skins, I believe, to be added. The red and blue design goes really well together, and to be honest, I have it, and I really do like the skin. It's quite clean and the colors just kind of match up well. Lastly, for the MAC 10, we're going to be going with the Rangine. This has a very cool design. It kind of looks like something you'd see in a museum. I don't even know. It looks like some historical artwork, architecture, something like that. I really don't know how to describe it, but it's really cheap and a really good MAC 10. For the op, we're gonna be going with the Phobos. Now this is a really new op. It is the newest op skin actually. It has some alien design on it. I don't even know. It looks like it belongs in Halo, I can tell you that. But it's really unique. I don't see people using it too much anymore. People used it when it first came out because people use skins when it first comes out. But not many people use it. It has a really unique design and it's overall a really nice op skin. For the M4A1S, we are going to be going with the Nitro. The Nitro is a very clean, not very well used skin. You don't see many people using it. I know Shroud uses it from time to time, which is awesome. But it's a really clean orange and black, simple skin that looks quite nice. I personally use it. And if you guys are actual M4A4 fans, you guys can go with the Minimal Wear Evil Daimyo. I hope I pronounced that right. I'm pretty sure it's Daimyo. Daimyo. Not quite sure. Let me know in the comments section below. But that is a really good M4A4 and it's actually cheaper than the Nitro. For the AK-47, we're going to be going with the Emerald Pinstripe. Once again, this is just a not mainstream skin. You don't see many people using it. It's quite plain actually. It just has a little bit of that green pinstripe on it and a different color wood. I am personally using it right now because I'm broke and I had to trade my other AK, but I will be getting my main AK back, but it is a really good cheap AK in the meantime that I'd suggest for you guys, unless you guys want a blue laminate for about the same price. I just thought this is more unique. To kind of match the Op Phobos, we're gonna be going with the Necropos for our scout. It also has that green and brown kind of alien base design. I don't know what to call it, but it has that cool sci-fi theme that I kind of like. For the SCAR 20, we're gonna be going with the Power Core. This is another really new skin, and the green and yellow looks quite nice on the skin. I don't use the autos too much, but if you guys ever are, this is a really good skin for it. For the G3, or the terrorist side auto, we have the orange kimono. Now this is a really cool skin, and I really do like the pattern on the skin. It's very, very unique, and once again, I really don't use the autos all that much, but when I do, I do enjoy using this skin. For the FAMAS, we're gonna Gonna be going with the survivor z this is the same famas skin i picked for the last loadout but once again i think it looks really really cool and it looks like something out of like some call of duty zombies with the cool unique design even though a lot of people do generally use this skin i still think it's very good and it just has to be on this list for the galil we are going to be going with the rocket pop I don't know, it's some patriotic American looking skin, but it is a really cool looking skin and the color scheme of the red, white, and blue looks really cool and I like it. It's also very clean and I don't see too many people using it. For the SG, we're gonna be going with the Ariel. It's another not so commonly used skin that I quite like since it's kind of plain but has a unique enough design. So if you guys are in need for an SG, for the price. 
And lastly, for the AUG or AUG, we are going to be going with the Radiation Hazard. I'm a big fan of the new collection and the new collection skins. I'm a big fan of the design with the nuclear symbols on it and the red slashes all around it. Kind of a plain skin, but... I really like it and it's a good budget AUG skin. Well anyway that's about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy make sure you guys leave a like and check out the last loadout if you guys haven't already if you have $20. But if you guys only had $10 and you want to load out hopefully this helped. You guys can comment if I mispronounced anything like you guys did last time. Apparently last time I said Grand Prix instead of Grand Prix. I never knew that's how you pronounced it. And I got roasted beyond roasted in the comment sections. So if you guys want to do that again, go ahead. But once again, you guys should have a really nice day and peace, peace.